Hey, yo, Detroit, man, was good. Welcome to DDS, the voice of Detroit. I don't hear what the people say. I say what the people hear. And I know one fucking thing. Y'all been missing something. Yeah, the motherfucking Kevin Samuels of Detroit, the one and only. H.P. Pillar Boy Fats was good, man. What's up, Kevin? What's going on? Shit, man, chilling, man. <laughs> now, the city, we've been missing you. We've been missing you. The chicks? They uh they've been looking around. Where that nigga at, man? So we can cuss his ass out. They've been looking for you. What's going on, man? <laughs> oh, who been looking for me? What I do? What the fuck out of here? I got off Facebook and they still mad at me. What the fuck? <laughs> man, they, they mad at you on every uh on every platform. All right, so bam, here go the first one. Man, financially. Support a woman while they dating. <laughs> <laughs> I what you mean by financially support? All right, so let's say, all right, you kicking with this chick. Uh -huh. Boom, y'all went on one uh -huh. day. Next time you call her, you like shit, man. What's up? You wanna uh, you wanna go out? Shit, my rent need to be paid. Boom. Uh, <laughs> my uh, my phone be about to get cut off. You know how the how the bitches do. So, do you feel that a clown ass nigga should say, "Yeah, baby, I'll take care of that"? Yeah, that's sucking. <laughs> Why do you feel that women came to this mind state that you know, um, I'm not even about to date no nigga unless you are uh, coming up off something right off the top? How do you think it got here? What role did niggas play in this shit? When, when, when lame niggas start getting money and, and, and doing anything these motherfuckers say just to get close to them or get some pussy from them? That's not about accurate. <laughs> and I don't, I don't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sit up there and say it's a problem with niggas having no money, but you can't get no money, man, and just splurge on any goddamn woman and without them doing nothing, bro. Like, I think a man should take care of a woman, but his woman, yeah. But just oh, yeah, the, yeah. the second date, bitch, you want your rent pay? You better go to hell. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I might, I might do a phone bill. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be, I ain't no fake nigga now. I might do a phone bill. Yeah. That's rent, reasonable. Though? That's reasonable. No, I'm not doing that. I don't mind helping you like with a phone bill or shit like that, but mm -mm. What about she like, mm -hmm. this car mm -hmm. don't need to be paid. He like, this that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't I ain't got nothing to do with that. On the on the man, hell no. Fuck no. Like, I, I, been, I didn't I didn't I didn't been a sucker before. Now I walked away broke in the bitch. I'm not doing it. Yeah, that's just man. I'm trying to tell you. I no, I, I, I haven't done it. Should a man's status? I got this for you. Should a man's status, position or money determine the amount of loyalty or submissiveness? That a woman gives in return. Uh, no, it shouldn't. But that's just what it is nowadays. So why do women? Why do you believe women think that? <laughs> <laughs> I got. I don't think like them. Like some <laughs> <laughs> nigga. I mean, they like came women are out entitled. Of nowhere. It kind of came they, out of they nowhere. Entitled. Because they they've been doing this shit since the beginning of the time, man. It's just, it's just at the forefront now. Yeah. All the shit that's going on now has been going on back then. It was just like now it was just at the forefront, man. Oh, like yeah. women just entitled, man. They entitled to they entitled to how they feel. That's cool, but they feeling they gonna make them right. But now, no, do, do you man, think, hell no. The, do you think that women would still have this state of mind if it wasn't for social media? No. Nah. Too much attention on social media. When women women value social media more than they value their family, more than they value mm -hmm. their mate. They yeah. get up and put good morning on the status before they even say it to their fucking man. <laughs> no, straight up though. That's the real shit. They will. They will. Well, get up, you you wait, ain't even brush your teeth yet. You ain't even gave a nigga no morning head to go to work. You just wake <laughs> up, get on social media and say good morning to everybody. Your nigga sitting right there. And ain't you ain't saying shit that man. No, straight up. That's the real shit. I seen some man, like I seen what? a bitch say, he asked her, if your man gave you an ultimatum, uh, no social media or no him, she said, bad nigga. Yeah. 
social media, bro. They're going to pick social media. They get attention on there. Mm-hmm. They I get it to women crave of, attention. I see, I look at some of these bitches, man. Uh, I'm talking about it'd be some decent bitches that be talking crazy. I didn't see some bitches, man, that look like uh, a walrus, a Fred Flintstone or something. And a bitch be the thirsty <laughs> nigga. No, straight up, man. These thirsty niggas and pump these bitches up. <laughs> this bitch said, the post said, niggas don't know how to give head no more. I swear to God, I clicked on her picture. Man, that bitch look like Gizmo. I said, man, what nigga, first of all, <laughs> what nigga even volunteered to do some dumb ass shit like that? I know why he was giving up good ass. He found you on social media. You tricked him. Uh, he actually seen you. He was like, he barely looking at that motherfucker. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, he know he fucked why up. Why the fuck would a nigga? Nah, that nigga finna do no shit like that, man. Like, nah, right, listen, like I say, I'm not, I'm not a... I ain't a fake dude, bro. I didn't ain't a fat bitch pussy fuck. Yeah, I, I, I went down there and then got to lick it in my face. Because now, I'm going to oh, tell yeah, you something. Man. It's a different it's a different type of fat bitch. You got a fat bitch, man, who got that fat ass. She got some thick legs. You know, her stomach ain't too big. The bitch right. This bitch had the muffin top, the little ass bottom. She had two <laughs> ass nuts. You know what ass nuts is? The white bitch you can have? At the bottom, right the, the little two nuts. <laughs> man, she had ass nuts. No, I ain't, I ain't now, that bitch was fucked up. I can't get that. <laughs> Dog, what the fuck, man? <laughs> man. All right, so guys, here goes the next. Here goes the next. Shout out man? to the bitches what, with the ass nuts. Shout out to the. How the fuck? Now that's a white bitch thing. Black bitches, comment down below. How the fuck did y'all get ass nuts? Now the next question we gonna do <coughs> is certain women. Well, hold on. Certain women wouldn't be where they at if it wasn't for a man. Now, this came from you, too. Let's talk yeah. about these bitches. Now, as you mentioned earlier, let's say um you got with a chick and she was doing decent. Mm -hmm. You may have been up. So now you come in, boom. Now you volunteering shit. You like the bitch, everything beautiful. I want to pay half of this. I want to take care of that. You know, you think y'all building some mm -hmm. shit. Now, once this bitch get up, it's happened to my brother. I watched it happen, man. This bitch wasn't shit. Me now, too. She sat there yeah. and ain't paid no rent, sat there for months, got her money up, bought a car, and disappeared. So now, what the fuck was the question? I'm have, all right, so bam. So certain women won't be where they at. How do you feel about that? Do you think a bitch in today's era will leave your ass quick as a fool if you help that bitch? You think, do you think bitches still respect? Yeah, they, do you think bitches still respect a nigga who helped them get somewhere and they and they leveled up? No. No. Do you think today's no. woman would still bring that thing no. up with her? No. No, 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 no. There's some women out here that that will hold a nigga down. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say no 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 fake ass fuck shit. There's some women out here that will hold a nigga down. But the reason I said a lot of women wouldn't be where they at because of men, they discredit men regardless of what the fuck he do. Yeah. If a nigga just come in your life and say, hey. I got the rent. You take care of the light bill. You ain't got to worry about that thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars a month. He's putting you in the better position. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. they discredit that because they feel like he ain't doing everything. Yeah, he ain't just paying the whole bill. I don't need no nigga go. 50, he ain't paying 50, the whole shit, bro. That That's fifty crazy. fifty is a roommate. I don't even, bro. Listen, I, I I love I love these women, but the way they think, bro, is what I hate. I love black women. The way they think is what I hate. No I hate the way they think. Like, how in the fuck is you going to discredit a man for taking time out of his life, his pockets, his time, his effort, his interest to help give to you? No doubt. For you to discredit him and say he ain't did nothing for you or you ain't in no better position because of him. Bitch, if I paid the rent for a year straight you and you saved position. the rent that you, you made, you in a better problem. position. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How in the fuck am I not doing it? Because uh, I ain't paid all? <laughs> man, you ain't shit. You ain't paid all, you ain't shit. So now, do you think I a nigga? You, bro. <laughs> do you think a nigga have a better chance with a white bitch, a Puerto Rican, uh, Chinese, anything other than one of these black bitches? I mean, women or whatever y'all is. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> <I ain't> gonna... <laughs> nigga, you trying to get me crucified, bro? Look, <laughs> I don't, I don't think, I don't think there's no woman on earth. That that that's as strong as a black woman. Yeah. But I do think 
other nationalities was raised better than black women. Mm-hmm. They they wasn't raised how to treat a man. They was raised to receive from a man. Mm-hmm. These other motherfuckers, not saying all of them, yeah. is raised to give and cater and build that man the fuck up because when he at where the fuck he need to be. Yeah. And you know this, man. I'm going to tell you some real shit. You know this, like, from Ronnie Coleman, the bodybuilder, to Ice-T, all these motherfuckers, at the, at the end of the road, most successful niggas who keep their money have married a white woman. I ain't going to cap. Now, because a white woman would sit back and she'll see some potential in you and she'll try to bring that up off you because she know what time it is. When she marry you, you can't where you going. Now, she'll take everything if shit get fucked up. But yeah, she will. Yeah, help a nigga grow though. But black women is, is, I'm not saying all. Oh, a lot of black women get married to take from a nigga. Yeah, a black woman want a nigga already made up. He got to already be there. They do. They don't want no projects. Fuck I, you. I put that on my status too, though. But they projects though, bro. Yeah, man, what? they projects. <laughs> they are man. projects. Yeah. So you telling me I gotta come with that shit on, right? Yeah, I put this on my status. I gotta wear, have a ten, fifteen thousand dollar worth of designer shit worth of <laughs> to pull your seven dollar outfit wearing ass. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where this shit going fucked up at. I see a lot of these women trying to prove a point. The niggas trying to prove a point, but the main fact is this: a woman can't sit back and uh, you can't just change your life. I can understand if a woman's already wealthy. She already doing this shit. That's what she used to. Now she, you come along. She, need a man. And she wants you to uh maintain the lifestyle she already living. But you talking about a twenty dollar bitch who looking for a million dollar nigga, and she want him to do this, do that, do that. And bitch, you ain't worth fifteen bucks if I praise you right at now. all. Like yeah. do you know if 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 a nigga got money, our options are way better than you. Yeah, we don't. So know why in the fuck? Like so why in the fuck would I become successful? And come back and get to a find fit. your ass. Man, you'll be a but I can go fool. get a bit like, like, do you think when I get rich, I ain't gonna go get Keisha Cole? I love that bitch. Man, I'm trying to tell you, I'm you gonna try to get be that around these raggedy ass bitches when you get rich. You gonna be around a whole different environment of bitches, high class bitches. For real. You're about to backtrack your life. We can go back to the hood and find me a right here, bitch. No, that's not gonna right. happen. So I'm about to I'm about to stop at Coney Island and get this bitch that worked there. Not saying nothing wrong with it. Yeah, no, I not because I know I know because bitch from the some... Coney and fly her back out there yeah. behind me to my mansion. Right. When I can go I get a fucking uh, uh, IG model that I can be and go fuck the, and send the bitch back where she came from, give her a couple dollars yeah, and yeah. oh I fucked that bad bitch already. Yeah. But fucking the bitch at the Coney, everybody didn't hit or got yeah. a hot dog from the bitch. So what's yeah. the difference? Even when even when you got wealthy older guys, they hit 60, 70, they don't want to get their dick sucked by a 20-year-old. I have never seen them go get a garbage pail kid, bitch, and say, come on over here, bitch, I want to take care of you. <laughs> they going to go find a fine bitch. You no, know, it's fine bitches doing that same shit. You still ain't going to make it, bitch, because it's better options. Exactly. You know it's better. It's better options. They don't understand that, man. Female, Look, like I say, bro, I love black women. But I hate the way they think. They think a nigga owe them something. They yeah. they always saying stupid shit. Oh, uh, y'all want a bitch like your grandma, but y'all don't pay bills like your granddad. Bitch, y'all don't cook like grandma. Y'all don't got morals like grandma. Yeah. Y'all don't got character, self respect, dignity. Y'all don't yeah. have none of that grandma shit that grandma and them had. None of them outfits they got on. That's the first thing. Exactly. Grandma, grandma wouldn't put. Pre- taking no ass. Grandma not right. none of that shit. Grandma at the home doing shit. None of that shit. Yeah. Yeah. So a nigga but, feel but they, like they, grandma they, ain't have to ask for that because he already know she a stand up woman. He want to do that shit. A nigga don't want to do that shit for the old drunk ass bitch man hanging out all night. Hey, hey, I'm not the least pretty the fuck though. I'm gonna give you that. Women, women say shit, there. bro. Women, women say shit, bro. And like a lot of women, when they see this, they gonna comment, "Oh, that fat ass nigga." I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I like my fat ass body. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have. I, I ain't gonna lie, I've never mistreated a woman. Nah, I, I didn't done some shit in my life. But far, you know how nigga mistreat a woman like this. I'm not Charles from Diary of a Mad Black Woman. I know I've, I've never been that nigga, yeah. like to, to do a woman like, bro. I'm. They don't give a fuck unless it's beneficial for them. Yeah. They don't care. No, that's the fact. They, they don't care. Even even a broke bitch wants you to give her forty to fuck her. 
Mm-hmm. A bitch who thinks she more than that. Oh, I want three hundred. I want four hundred. Yeah, yeah. And so how did not about my forty dollar oh. bitches? Man, they stay on social media long enough. They start taking that pussy worth a hundred. You know, so shit just they fucked sure up. Fuck them. I know so, one I'm finna fuck right now. <laughs> she want, she want sixty. I'm gonna give it to her too. <laughs> All because she cool. <laughs> she gonna get some of this little motherfucker. <laughs> I don't put that bitch in the court. Okay. <laughs> I swear, she gonna get some of this little motherfucker, bro. I swear to God. She y'all want sixty bucks. Out there, now, if y'all need sixty dollars, so uh, uh, get... <laughs> <laughs> no. hey, if y'all need some no. other shit, tap in. Comment down below. So bro, now, can, can I ask you a question, bro? Yeah. Let, let, let me let me ask you a, 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 a honest question, bro. Yeah. Do you think people, women, just miss the message because who the messenger is? It could be a good message. Yeah. But they will overlook it and judge it because who the messenger is. Do you think that's true? Yeah, hell yeah. You know, man, I don't know exactly how this shit got all fucked up like this, but at this women? point, you know, I remember back in uh in the late 90s, early 2000s, all the niggas was bossing up. Now I sit back and see they wanted to take the whole role of a nigga. Uh, they the boss. <laughs> they uh, they doing this. They trying to make it to where a nigga is pretty much uh uh, you know, delete it out because you got your roles. You a boss bitch. You got your own car, your own house. I really don't really don't need you. But now can, can I, can I, I don't question? really What's have no problem bitch? with them bitches. I got a problem with the bitch who ain't got none of that shit. And you know, uh, reaching for the stars. I think they should stay in they stay uh uh they rent category. You know. Fuck the dusty nigga because you a dusty bitch. Oh. Now, if you got... No, oh. no, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dusty dick nigga be loud, too. I now, ain't fucking with you, though. That's why it's not even out, bro. Because the dusty dick niggas used to fuck the dusty pussy hoes. And all the motherfucking rich niggas were fucking high-class bitches. Now you got the dusty bitch want to fuck the rich nigga. Where do the dusty dick, dick nigga even come in at now? You know, he Because they see what a high-class... Man. Yeah. And the, uh, the dusty bitch, she's sitting over there playing with a rose because she waiting on uh, Prince Charming to come jump on her roof and put up a, uh, a sneak on her foot. You know, it's all fucked up. It ain't up. happening, bro. It's not happening, dog. <laughs> it's, it's not happening. Females so now, don't live in reality. Yeah. So now they don't live in reality, bro. So it is a fact. I'm gonna ask you: Are women delusional in thinking the yeah. rich nigga want they dusty ass? We already covered that. Yeah, y'all bitches delusional. And if you don't like it, comment down below and tell me why. I want to know this. Uh, any dusty bitches watching this video, I know your phone probably cracked and you can't see much of it. But if you if you can watch it, comment down <laughs> below and tell us why you think that dusty ass pussy. That motherfucker, smell it first. Stick your finger in it, smell it, and tell us why you think a rich nigga <laughs> will come and pick that motherfucker up, man. That's all we want to know. That's the more of this story. Okay, so now... Oh, ain't no rich nigga doing that. <laughs> Man, he'll be a motherfucker. Ain't no reason, bro. Females will say they ain't fucking with no broke nigga. Fuck a rich nigga and still don't get shit. <laughs> Man, look at him. Now, that's a that's prime time. Let's talk about that. So now, it's also true, ladies. I ain't trying, we ain't trying to uh, jump on your head, but this is also true. There are two times delusional because y'all pick up a rich nigga. Now, I know the hood rat bitch why she want a rich nigga because she don't really don't give a fuck about coming up. She wants some Coney. She tired of sipping that cheap ass drink that other nigga was bad. She wants some Hennessy and she wants some good weed. And she ready to suck a dick all night. But now, at the same time, you can't, a rich nigga can't roll up on a uh, on a wealthy bitch and even play that role. She's not even dazzled by you. So I see where the she benefit of a nigga. Her. So that's why most niggas who got a little money, they gonna stay in the hood because to a project bitch, that's the best it's gonna get. Now he gonna get his dick sucked all night. Because Chi Chi in there, he couldn't buy no Coney. He bought her a bag of chips. He got some dick and some chips. <laughs> now, the other nigga, he got her a motherfucking thick piece with that motherfucking chili fry that bitch with a tall ass pop. And she ready to blow on that. She feel good. Yeah, light ice, around, too. If she can ride around in that nigga Benz, she, her, she, she been sitting on itch all her life. If she can get some love underneath her ass and just ride around the hood and let all the other folks all see her sucking this rich nigga dick, she fine with that. And you know, that shit fucked up. Bitch, you want something for yourself, bitch. You ain't, he got you but a you wanna... He ain't give you no money. He gave you a loose ear and upper half of the blood and sent you home. Now, you in the same and sent position. you the home. Yeah, you could have went down the street and sucked dusty dick, and he would have gave you $10, bitch. You could have had something. 
Yeah. They don't, men look, bro. Females like the image mm-hmm. and the benefit. Yeah. They don't give a fuck, bro. Honestly, on, on some real shit, a woman don't want like what another woman don't have. Mm-hmm. How yeah. how you think a lot of niggas pull all the bad bitches? We'll pull a bad bitch and keep that bitch on our arm yeah. because the other bad bitch you want to know what the fuck she see in this nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so come find out. Mm-hmm. They they gonna want to know. A lot of these niggas ain't rich either. They just some niggas got a couple dollars because a rich nigga ain't looking for no nigga, dusty you, you ass. You ain't gonna see him nowhere around the hood picking up the rat. Now you got the street, you got the hood rich nigga. You know he might got ten thousand to his name. He make it look good. He generating some type yeah. of thousands every week, so he can keep it looking good. Now he, it's a broke bitch's dream because you know he got a uh, he got something exactly. nice to drive. You got, you got a little exactly. jewelry. He ready? Yeah, he fucked it. And he gonna, he gonna stay yeah, fucking exactly. the bitch because he ain't got enough money to really fuck no rich men. So he in the middle. He got enough to be a hero. Oh! <laughs> oh. That's Shut true up. though. Straight up. He that, could be that, a hero to a fact. broke hoe though. I bet you that. Oh yeah. A hero to a broke hoe. I gotta <laughs> use that. <laughs> Neighborhood hero. Nigga. I gotta <laughs> use that. But I, but honestly, man, I don't I don't know what's going on out here, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I really don't even give a fuck no more. They <laughs> argue with me anyway. Remember, bro, I was on Facebook for months, bro. I got on and made a status. Motherfucker gonna tell me, you always on here bad. Bitch, I ain't been on here in six months. <laughs> them your fans, man. They was waiting on you. Don't worry about them. They're really they, your fans. They was they waiting was. on you. Niggas ain't gonna come clean. They were. They were like arguing <laughs> you with me, bro, and, and be mad at though. me. Yeah, yeah, because, you know. I be chilling, bro. It don't, it don't even they be love. nothing personal. <laughs> you be on they think. And they love to hate you because the bitches who come out is really the bitches that you talk about. But you know, that's why they get angry when you make that right. type of post because it's really them. So you know, uh, that's just how it goes. I don't be giving a fuck. I don't I don't be caring. Yeah. I had a bitch threaten me with a with her with her brother one day on Facebook. <laughs> bitch, you gonna get your brother handled. <laughs> Off my status, you mad at me. You comment on my status to argue with me, and I say something back to you, and you threaten me with your brother, like. He ain't accessible. Man. That's just some Twitter figures talking stupid, man. Look at that it. shit weird, man. Like, <laughs> w- w- bro, listen. Women act like this until they're in danger. That's okay. when submission come out of them. The, the respect come out of them. All, women will run around and disrespect the nigga all day long mm-hmm. until they're in danger. Yeah. When they're in danger, now nah, where the real men at? Bitch, you done disrespected them all. <laughs> Why would I protect you if you think you can beat me, bitch? You go fight him. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You made a you good grab point. you you grab a Drake or a slide, bitch. You go do it. You made a good point. Every bitch with a boss bitch that don't need no nigga should have a hit crew and a couple sticks. Because if you're gonna play the role of a nigga, you gotta be all the way in. Yeah, you gotta have your crew and hit him. Gotta be all the way in. Him, sit on that phone and say, I got ten thousand on the floor. <laughs> Get dog out the way. Yeah, you got a good point. It, it, now try it, that out, lady. And then y'all can have the full they can't do it. The full title. Yeah, that's they, a good they point. Can't, they, they had never had that title, bro. They, they don't have that title, bro, because they can't handle the pressure that come with this shit. Women can't handle the pressure that come with men in the world. Yeah. For real. They can't handle the, the pressure that, that's for us and this fucked up society. Yeah. They can't handle that. Yeah. Yeah. I know they can't handle it. For real. Even, bro, even female officers call for backup when dealing with a nigga. Mm-hmm. So what in the fuck make these bitches think they can come out <laughs> here, get in the street, squabble up with a nigga, and go grab a go? So, so you telling me you get into it, you gonna go get your sister? <laughs> Man, shit, yeah. Now I've seen one of the bitches you talking about. It was a female officer, and she said, "You know, fuck the backup. I'm gonna take this big nigga down." And you know, it didn't go nothing like that. Um, she got her jaw broke. Her <laughs> broke. But, and somebody hopped out. A couple niggas hopped out and saved her life when the nigga got her pistol. But, you know, she did try. You know, and um, I want to salute her. She took her broke face like a champ. And um, <laughs> she... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't seen that one yet. Well, you, 
better send me that clip, dog. I want to watch that ass. Look. I want to watch that. I want to try wrong. Look, man, I want to thank you for coming out, man. The people's champ, your motherfuckers, the Detroit Kevin Samuels. Uh, uh, tell them where they can follow you at again. I think they forgot. I didn't park, motherfuckers. There it is. Pull a boy on fat, Facebook. Man. Pillar Facts. Pull a boy fat. Pull a boy Pillar fat. Facts. H Pillar, yeah. motherfucking Detroit, Kevin yeah, Samuels, H Pillar, and a motherfucking real dick dealer. If you want some, comment down below. Give 60 bucks, you bitch. And 20 bucks, you home. Thanks for coming out, man. That's all they get. <laughs> I got you, brother. I got you. <laughs> yeah, I